Okay, so we're on page 95, and your homework is page 95 through 96, 1 through 6. What we are going to do is the two examples at the top of the page. So, example number one says, according to Kepler's laws, planets have elliptical orbits with the sun at one foci. So, I'm going to... Here's my awesome sun. And it's at one of the foci. And the farthest that Pluto... Um, gets from the sun is 7.4 billion kilometers. So the furthest away, 7.4, and I'm going to write 7.4, but we know it's going to be billion. And this would be at one of the vertices. And the closest it gets would be at the other vertice. So here's my other vertice. And it says that this is only 4.4. 4 billion. Um, it says find the length of the major axis. So if I want to find the length of the major axis, that's this length right here from vertice to vertice. So major axis. We're just going to add these together. So we're going to get 11.8 billion um, billion kilometers is the length of my major axis. And then it says to find the distance between the two foci. So if I want to find the distance between the two foci, if from a vertice to a foci is 4.4, then over here, I also right here have a distance of 4.4. And then I can go from foci to foci right there. That's what I'm looking for. So foci to foci. Well, if I want to find this piece right here, I need to subtract away the blue piece. So it's going to be 7.4 minus 4.4, which is going to get me 3 billion kilometers. And the last part of this says, find the equation of the orbit of Pluto. So what I want to note is that we don't know where in space we put this drawing, but I can put it anywhere. And by anywhere, I'm going to put it at the origin. If that's my center, I'm going to put it smack dab at the origin, because that's going to cause HK, my center, to be 0, 0. I've drawn this so that side to side is the longer way, so A is going to be my bigger number. So I'm going to have X squared over something plus y squared over something equals 1. Remember, um, whichever way it goes, in our case, side to side, the bigger number goes on the bottom of that letter. So since mine goes side to side, the x, then my a value, my bigger number, is going to go under my x. Well, luckily for us, the major axis, which we know to be 2a, equals 11.8 billion. So if I take my 11.8 and I divide by 2, you're going to get 5.9. So this is going to be 5.9 billion, or you could write, you know, um, in, in a scientific notation. And then i got to find B, but to, to find B, that's going to do a little bit of math, because this up here is 2C. Foci to foci is 2C, and I know what A is, so I know that C is equal to 1.5. And then we have to use our little equation, where C squared equals A squared minus B squared. So 1.5 squared is going to equal my 5.9 squared minus b squared. And when you solve for b squared, b squared is 32.56. 32.56, and you have to square root it. So my b value is 5.706 billion. So there is the equation for Pluto's elliptical orbit. Okay, example number two talks about a suspension bridge and it making the shape of a parabola. Think about like the Golden Gate Bridge or something. There's posts 
and then it like suspends, making a parabola. So uh, it says the main cable suspension bridge <clears throat> are in the shape of a parabola. So we have two towers, and it makes a parabola. I know I can really draw awesome. Um, and it says the towers supporting the cables are 80 feet apart. So let's label this distance here is 80. And this distance here is 20. Write an equation to find the value of A. So first things first, I'm going to make my life really easy. And I'm going to center this at... Um, I'm going to center this thing near the origin to make life really easy for us. So I've drawn in a coordinate plane, this right here being the origin. And then um, I'm going to keep reading to help us out. So okay, let me write an equation real quick. So I'm going to use y equals a x minus h squared plus k. And that's at the top of your page. Um, I'm going to use this because I think from what I drew, I can find the vertex. So it says that if the cables, it says if the cables are at a height of four feet midway between the two towers. So that means right here in the middle, this, this height right here is four. Um, that means that my vertex right here, well, I'm up and down, or sorry, I'm side to side none, and I'm up four. So this is my vertex. So if I go over here and rewrite my equation, y equals a, uh, x minus zero is nothing, so x squared plus four. So there's my equation. And to have a good equation, I probably need to find a. Well, you can pick a negative side or a positive side. I prefer to work on the positive side. This point right here at the top of my um, bridge, I know that ordered pair. It's over 40 and up 20. So I can use the ordered pair, 40, 20, and I can plug that in right here. So um, y is going to be 20 equals a times 40 squared plus 4. I'm going to subtract my 4 over and get 16 equals... Sixteen equals one thousand six hundred a, and then I'm gonna divide by my one thousand six hundred. Divide by my one thousand six hundred. You can move the decimal over, or you can divide it in a calculator. But you're gonna get point zero one is your a value. So now we have a. So now we have y equals point zero one x squared plus four is the equation of the parabola that we drew. And this is why your drawing is really important, because you could have not centered it in the middle, and then your equation would be a little bit different. Um, so please make sure when you're doing these problems, you always have to have a picture. And on your homework for these problems, 1 through 6 on pages 95 and 96, the picture is worth points. The picture is also worth points on your test, so get in the habit of drawing it. Let's go back and read the rest of the question make sure we answer the rest of it. Um, it. It says, if the cables are at a height of 4 feet midway between the towers, which we already used, what is the height of the cable at a point 25 feet from the center of the bridge? So I have gone from my center, gone from my center over right here over 25, and I want to find this y value right here. So I'm going to let x equal 25, y equals 0 0.01, 25 squared plus 4. And all you do is simply type in your calculator, 0 0.01 times 25 squared plus 4. And y is going to equal 10.25 feet. So there was lots of steps here. We wrote an equation for a. We found a's value. We plugged in a vertex. We found what x equal to find our ending height. So there's our height. Here's our equation. And then it says write your equation using the value you found for a at this y value. So there we go, we got this. So just again, make sure that you draw a picture for one through six, and those are going to be due on Friday.